Hi everybody, this is Mark with Digital Heat Effects and I'm here with the i550 print system and I want to talk about one of my favorite features, okay? So if you've seen some of our other videos, then you're aware that the Digital Heat Effects i550 is a transfer printer, right? That's how it comes out of the box. The CMYW type of printer. So you've got a multicolors and a white toner and you can create transfers that go on all different types of substrates. So cotton, polyester, light colors, dark colors, hard substrates. It's fantastic. The toner transfer industry is really revolutionizing and changing this, is this industry, this industry of customized apparel and customized uh, uh, awards and promotional items and all these things. It's changing it and it's awesome. But there's still sublimation and the i550 can turn into a sublimation printer as well. I love it. And I'll tell you, a little bit why that's important, right? So here we've got a 100% polyester garment, right? This is the typical sublimatable garment. It's 100% polyester. It's a very light color. White is typically optimal to get uh, colors that match exactly. And it's very thin, it's very lightweight. This one particular I'm using is a Sport Tech from Sandmar. They're very breathable, they're very lightweight. As you sweat or get wet, they dry particularly easily. And that's great, it's a great color. Well, plenty of people love this type of apparel. The downside of any other type of apparel decorating on this, screen printing, toner transfers, heat transfer vinyl, embroidery, anything that you add on to this type of apparel really reduces a bit of the reason why somebody buys it. They buy it because it's so lightweight and so breathable and then you put screen printing plastisol on it or anything else like that and you lose a little bit of the apparel's functionality, the ability to stretch a lot, the ability to be very breathable and dry easily. So the answer to that is sublimation. And that's an, a very, really optimal way to decorate this type of apparel. In the past, sublimation has been always a wet process. So it involves inks, a sublimation printer. It's typically expensive. You have to buy a specialty paper. Um, the cost of the inks is usually typically high and the uh, print speed. If you've got an inexpensive sublimation printer, you might already have one. You could be upwards of two or three minutes for a single page. Some, some are even longer on cheaper systems. Um, or you're buying a particularly large, expensive system. So with the Digital Heat Effects i550, you're going to go ahead and you're going to be able to convert your toner printer to a sublimation printer and be able to produce prints that cost very little, you know, less than 50 cents or, or maybe even less than that, depending on the print, of course. Uh, but let's go ahead and do it. So here we are, a little bit of a different angle, but you can see inside here how these toner cartridges just sit right on the top. And we're going to do some quick swaps. So I'll pull out my cyan just like this. That's it. and I'll replace it with my dye sublimation. It just says DS cyan, and it just goes like this. There we go. And typically I always say it's, it's really great to go in right from the front. That's the optimal way to do it. Going from an angle is a little awkward, so I'm gonna get in the way a little bit, get in the front next time. So I'll pull out our magenta. yellow, dye sublimation yellow, and this time I've got the white in there, and we don't dye sublimate in white, we dye sublimate with black, okay, there's, there's not white dye sublimation, and plug that right in. So they all go in very easily, just to kind of show you that cyan one again. When you go, go in straight ahead, these come out very easily. And this is fantastic. This conversion can be done by anybody. So once they're in and you feel that they're locked in place, you just close it. Now we turn the printer on and we've converted our i550 to a dye sublimation printer. All right, so we've converted our i550 over to dye sublimation. That easy, it's really one of my favorite things. 
I couldn't believe when I first did it how easy it was to just slide those things out and pop them in and convert a toner transfer printer to a die sub printer. So cool. So here's my uh, toner transfers. They, they come with these great little plastic covers too to keep them safe. And the next thing to talk about, which is another thing that's going to be really exciting, if you know about dye sublimation, or you've done it, or you've researched it, then you're aware that you use dye sublimation paper. You get special ink, special paper, you put them together, and you create a dye sublimation transfer. With the Digital Heat Effects i550, you don't do that. I'm just going to use regular copy paper here. So I've just got a regular sheet of copy paper, and I'm loading it into the front tray here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and print a graphic. So I've got this really cool graphic up, and I'll go ahead and print it, and I'll bring you a little closer to the printer so you can kind of see it coming out. So here we've got a dye sublimation print and we print it in reverse because we're going to put it on the our t-shirt this way but this is ready to print and you can see how fast it comes out it's so fast it's inexpensive the colors are really nice and bright and vibrant and let's go ahead and move this from our transfer onto our t-shirt here we are at our hotronics fusion heat press and I've set it at 380 degrees. If, if you know sublimation, this is going to be a common question. So I've got it set at 380 degrees for 60 seconds, which is great for sublimation as well. I've seen some uh, recommendations higher than that, a higher temperature, and I've, I've seen some higher times too. So it's great to be able to work within a nice safe range when you're working with a light color garment. And I've got a few tools here. I've got my uh, heat press. I've got some heat tape. I'm going to tape my print down. And I covered the bottom platen with a Teflon wrap or a sheet. I'm using a sheet now, but wraps work. And uh, again, this isn't training. I just like to answer as many questions as I can for the folks looking to get started with this um, or have maybe worked with it before and are curious about some details. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, thread my shirt on, my platen here. transfer we just put we just uh, print it out and I'm gonna tape it down so, uh, so I've heard this a lot from folks who do sublimation uh, so if you do this you you might say oh, I never tape them down or you might say good good move don't make a working mistake you know uh, but I've heard from various people throughout the industry I recommend you tape these down because you don't want your sublimation print to move at all. Um, it's really important to keep it in the same spot. We also put an extra piece of paper on top, and this is uh, just for protection of our heat press during the sublimation process. So now that we're all set, I've got it 380 at 60. We're going to go ahead and do it uh, for a minute here. Now that this is out, we're actually going to cool peel this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my shirt off and bring it back to our table. So here we are. We've got our transfer. It's ready to uh, peel off, and it's all completed. So let's remove my tape. And peel the transfer up. So here we are with our finished sublimation transfer, and this, this is great. It's a fantastic function and feature of the Digital Heat Effects i550. Um, you get nice blacks, you get really vibrant and rich colors out of this, and compared to other types of decorated apparel, you don't have, have any feel. There's nothing tactile about this type of transfer. So as you can see, it flows really nice. It stretches really easily. I mean, this 
is a great function of the digital heat effects i550 and it's just another tool in your belt when you've got this system so um, here just take a look and get close up too thank you for watching this video on the digital heat effects i550 and we showed making a great sublimation transfer like this using a special sublimation toner set, printing on plain paper, and create a really awesome graphic that's ideal for this, or for this type of shirt, I should say. So check out the other videos that we've got on the digital heat effects systems. Uh, we've got videos on our software. We've got videos on the various equipment options and packages. Find the one that's right for you. Find the one that's the right size for your business. And if you're thinking about a compact unit, then the Digital Heat Effects i550 is awesome. Look into the sublimation, look into the um, trans transformation, the conversion from uh, CMYK to CMYW, and some of the other really cool functions. So thank you very much for watching. Check us out at digitalheateffects.com. And if you have any questions about any of the things you saw in this video, any of other equipment or options, please give us a call or a live chat with one of our pros, and we're happy to help you. So thank you. Have a good one.